Hi, I'm Bun Jin, the creator of Deck Toys, and I'm glad that you're joining us. Deck Toys is a classroom engagement platform where you can make your lessons fun for you and your students. In this video, I will show you how you can create your first Deck Toys lesson and use it to engage your students today. Let's get started. This is your dashboard, where on the left is your list of classrooms, and on the right are your lessons. Lessons are called decks in deck toys, and let's create the first lesson. When you create your lesson, the path and activities wizard will appear. Here I have created several templates to help you get started. Uh, there is the fault, merge, spiral, web, and also the popular monopoly template. In this demo, we're going to use the merge template. And in the next tab, here is the key concepts. The key concepts are the terms and definitions that you are going to let your students practice and master throughout the, today's lesson. In this example, the 2D shapes and 3D shapes terms have been created for you. But of course, you can change it to anything you're going to teach for today. So let's move on. And here we're going to see the map that the deck will be created for you and also the pre-populated logs and also the instructions for the students. We have, I've also included the slide activity and several slide templates to get your students' responses for the lesson. So let's create generate and the path activities wizard will create a path for you and also the individual activities. So here will be the signposts the slide activity, and so on. Your deck toys lesson is actually ready now. Let's check by clicking the preview deck and see how it turns out in the classroom. Here is the test classroom. On your left is the teacher's view, and on your right is the demo student's view. So here it simulates a student for you. A student can start through the entry point marked by the word entry and move move to the next activities as long as they completed it the next activities will be activated like now the, the student is unable to move on until they have completed the prior activities so on the second activity there is the learn slide where the students are required to enter their responses text responses and also uh, draw responses then as a teacher side, you can see that the students progressing. So for example, the student DS is on the second activity on learn. And you can, of course, control the classroom using the synchronized mode. The, the, now it's in free mode, the students are able to explore by themselves. But if you set to the teacher sync mode, the student will be forced to your screen. So like you see now, the students are following you. And once you unlock the free to the free mode, the students can explore by themselves. So in, like in this case, and next I will show how you can assign this lesson to your deck toys classroom. Let's go back to the dashboard by clicking on my dashboard. This is the lesson that we have created just now. And now we are going to create the classroom. So you can create classroom by pressing the plus sign here. And the classroom name can be unique for your case. So like today I'm going to put Bunjin math class example. And here is shown the address. So this is the address that the students will need to enter on their web browser. Here is deck.toys slash Bunjin math class. You can click configure classroom to customize the address or the name too. And, and as the classroom has been created here, we're going to assign it. Like, to assign the previously created lesson, you can go to the deck, assign to classroom, and click on Bunjin Math Class. And here you can see it, the assigned lessons are listed under the math class. So when you go into the classroom, now we'll be going into as a teacher. This is the teacher's view of your deck toys classroom. You can click on the bar on top, which will show you the 
classroom address that your students will access using their web browser. So let's uh, show the list of students on the right. So if your students connect to your classroom, you will see the list of students appearing who are online coming into the classroom here. And, and if they're going to a specific activity, when they, you can check, you can see where they are throughout the map. So you, as, you can, as the students progress throughout the map, you will be able to track how far they are and where they get stuck by looking at their initials. In this teacher's view of the classroom, you can also open the demo student view. So we're going to open the create this demo student for us to see how a student will look like in your classroom. Here, I will show you the, the, the panel at the bottom where you can synchronize the screen where the students like now all the students will be in the first activity and you can move on and while the students submit their responses so if they do their drawing you can see the students response here and uh, the answers will be appearing in real time so as the answers come in you will be able to see the answers you can also view the classroom report which comes in a printable format of all the students' submissions. If you need students' engagement in a classroom, you can use all any of the apps, which when you launch it will appear as a app on every student's device. So let's, for example, you want to get the students' answers, you can press the launch buzzer and every student's device will have the buzzer and you can see uh, the students list of students coming in and you can also grade and give them marks accordingly and when you end the buzzer the students will be able to continue with their progress on whatever they'll be doing that is all you need to get started with deck toys and if you need any help you can always message me through the inner chat the top bottom right corner and I'm creating a tutorial video series on our Facebook community. Please do join it and you can always post any questions there. Bye-bye.